I'm speaking to you now from Carnegie Museum, Mammal Hall, and I'd like for you to meet the curator of mammals, Dr. Kenneth Doubt. Dr. Doubt, could you tell us about the uh, group that we're standing in front of here now? Yes, this is the Fannin sheep group. The Fannin sheep is one of the uh, varieties, one of the subspecies of mountain sheep, which um, is found in Western North America, and uh, particularly in this group uh, in Alaska. Uh, who hunted these sheep? Was uh, this a result of a hunting expedition? Yes, this is a result of an expedition. Uh, General uh, Richard K. Mellon and Mrs. Mellon and Robert S. Waters uh, presented the group to us. Well, isn't they this collected the specimens themselves in northern uh, British Columbia. Isn't this one of the newest exhibits in this It is small? one of the most recent, yes. Could you tell us a little bit about uh, what is involved in developing an exhibit such as this? Well, there's a whole lot of background that has to go into uh, making a bit of background. Uh, first of all, the planning of an expedition takes a lot of time and effort. Was the expedition specifically to get these yes. for the museum? Yes, that's oh, right. Oh, I see. Uh, the person who does the collecting has to know uh, how to take the measurements on the animal so that uh, the taxidermist can make a lifelike looking creature when he's through with it. The measurements have to be taken the at the time. The measurements have to be taken at the time of the animal, that is while the animal is still in the flesh, uh -huh. before it's skinned. Right. And it's skinned, of course, and up it's there. It's skinned there, of course, and the skins have to be prepared properly. Uh -huh. uh, then uh, all of the material for the foreground has to be collected. Uh, the plants that go into it have to be preserved. Oh, you mean they were brought back they from are that area? Back from that area, yes. Uh -huh. um, sometimes the plants are not the same ones that are brought back, are not used, but uh, they are used for duplicating and making out of wax or some other more lasting substance the uh, uh, copies of the original. Well now, is the background here authentic? Was the background is made, in this case, uh, Mr. Von Fuhrer was not on the expedition. Uh, it's frequently uh, best if an artist can go uh -huh. on the trip. But in this case, he had to do it from photographs which were taken. So they did take so, pictures and oh everything yes. was recorded. So photographs were taken, uh, excellent photochromes, so that uh, he had, uh, uh, and this is a, a very uh, exact likeness of uh, the country in which they were working. If you can't go up into the Canadian, is this Canadian Rockies? Yes, it's is Canadian it? Rockies. Uh -huh. If you can't go up into the Canadian Rockies, this is the next best thing to come down next and look thing, here. Yes. On a hot summer day, you can come here and get cooled off. <laughs> well, tell me about uh, the taxidermy. I'm fascinated by the natural appearance. Now, aside from the measurements, there's a little more skill than that, isn't there? Oh, yes. Yes, the, t the uh, taxidermist, the man who mounts these animals, has to know in the first place what the animal looks like. Mm -hmm. And then he has to have measurements that he can use for the skin he has because each, uh, each body has to be tailored to the skin that it came from. And, uh, it uh, requires a great deal of skill and experience. Uh, some time ago we mentioned uh, the taxidermy that was done in the camel driver hmm. group. Yeah. This is a very different type of taxidermy. Here the uh, whole body is molded very carefully beforehand. Uh -huh. And uh, this is just stretched and over. The skin is then put over a, a form which is made. Uh, made very light and very sturdy uh -huh. so that it, uh, 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 it will stand almost any amount of uh, treatment that's uh -huh. necessary. Well, this, uh, there still is this matter of posture and making a natural looking group. Somebody has to know an awful lot about these animals, yes, don't they? Yes, that's right. The taxidermist has to know uh, the, the uh, how the animal stands, how it appears, what its general look is. As uh, curator of this section, are you involved in the development of these uh, groups? Uh, only in a very uh, remote sort of way. Uh, after all, uh, the uh, taxidermist is the man who has to do the uh -huh. specimens. Uh, the artist, Mr. Von Fuhrer, has painted the background and uh, um, designed the general overall appearance so that it is a uh, uh, an artistic group and his wife Mrs. Von Fuhrer uh, has made the uh, plants that go into the uh, uh, foreground here. Mm -hmm. 
Well, uh, you have all through Mammal Hall here many groups of many different animals, don't you? Yes, yes, that's true. And uh, is this an effort to uh, take mostly North American animals, or do you Oh, go we haven't specialized entirely in North American mammals, no. Uh, but the idea is that uh, many people cannot go to the Canadian Rockies, see what a mountain sheep looks like on its crags. Mm -hmm. um, and you can have the animal in the zoo, but you can't bring the background to the zoo very well. So uh, in some respects, this is a more permanent exhibit than, uh, than the animal in the zoo would be. It doesn't move, but it's just as realistic, isn't it? 